Welcome to our tutorial on the new GIS web application. We have legend, imagery, and search tools. In addition, we have bookmarks, measuring, and printing tools. Let's begin with our legend. Layers of the legend are visibly drawn on the map to the right when the layer text is white. Layers are hidden when the text is gray. Zoom in to view. Layers can only be toggled on and off when their corresponding text color is white. Click on the down arrow to display the corresponding key value legend. A blue line indicates that a layer is turned on. Imagery Imagery layers are listed chronologically. The most recent layer is at the top. Click a year to turn on the base map. The slider represents transparency or opacity. Multiple base maps can be displayed simultaneously. Here, we have zoomed to an area where you can see the usefulness of this tool. Search Tools Specify a search method and then key in your search. To return to your list of search results, click the search results bar on the right or click the Back to List button. Click the Zoom To button to zoom in directly to your parcel. You can page through your search results as well. Now let's take a look at our bookmarks. Bookmarking requires a MyOriCounty.org account. You can register on the OriCounty.org website. A link is provided here in our application. Add a bookmark by clicking the bookmark button. You'll see here that the icon turns yellow. Your added bookmark is then added to the bookmarks tab. To edit your bookmarks, click the Edit Bookmarks button. Here, I have added additional bookmarks to demonstrate. Bookmarks can also be reordered. Simply drag them by the bar icon on the left. When you are done editing your bookmarks, remember to click the Finish button. There is also a handy Zoom To feature. To view the details, click on the name of your bookmark. Measuring and printing. Here, you can measure area and distance. You can also determine GPS location. Each tool has several options for measurement type. To measure area, click on the area button. Left click with your mouse to create a shape to measure. There's a handy feature to hold the control button to snap to parcel lines. When you are done measuring, double click. You can even change the measurement type. The distance tool also has a hold control to snap feature. To measure distance, simply left click with your mouse at your desired points. When you are finished, double click to finalize your measurement. While clicking, hold the control button down to snap to parcel lines. For the location tool, click the location button and left click on the map to the right. Longitude and latitude 
will display. To turn off a tool, simply click the corresponding button. And finally, we have our print tool. Simply scroll down on the tools panel. Here, you can enter your map title, author, and copyright text. You can also select format, layout, and unit options. When done, click the print button. A preview of your map will display. Use your computer's print options to print your map. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you find this tutorial informative.